Hi, my name is Attorney Walter of Noth III, I'm with Disability Resolution PA in Orlando, Orange County-based Social Security Disability Law Firm. Let's get right to the question. All right, number 19, which is a follow-up to question 18. 18 was, after that education, did you achieve any additional certificates, diplomas, acknowledgements, or complete any courses in the academia field? Number 19, how long ago was that? So the reason we as adjudicators, basically, well, I'm not, I'm an attorney that does this stuff, but the adjudicator would be the administrative law judge. The reason why these adjudicators will go ahead and ask, well, how long ago was that? They want to know specifically, okay, so you got your GED, then you got your special heavy equipment license. Well, how long ago was that? Okay, was it 20 years ago? Was it five years ago? Was it one year ago? Well, if it was one year ago, what was the expectation, right? Did you just start having anxiety? Or did the machine fall over and boom, you were trapped? Now you've got all these back problems. So the bottom line is this, of what you basically need to know. When it comes down to a situation, for example, where you have recent training and or achievements and or academia, it makes it harder to find you disabled because the expectation was that you would continue to use that with purpose. You know, I get a lot of calls from younger kids that are like, well, I had disability benefits, you know, while I was going to college and then I can't believe it, but you know, and they're usually really snotty to me, and I don't know what the hell the deal, their deal is. I can't believe it. They cut off my benefits once I graduated. Well, no, duh. I mean, come on, man. And I don't know. For some reason, like, they're like, I went to college. I'm really bright. And I'm just like, I have a master's and a doctor. I mean, come on, man. So the point is, if you get out of college and you can complete college and you're claiming certain mental impairments, right? can't get along with others, can't be around other high anxiety. No. If you can go through college and graduate, get a two-year degree or four-year degree, then the SSA looks at that and says, you are not disabled. You need to go find a job, which is correct. Now, if you have physical impairments that don't allow you to do a job, like you can't walk or you can't do this or that, then there's an expectation, yes, that makes sense. But when it comes to a lot of the mental impairments, if you're able to complete school and complete college, you know, so long as it's not something that chemically changes you to the point where you're just not able to function. But if it's one of those things where you're able to do most of those functions, they're going to say, hey, wait a minute, buddy, go get a job. Now, of course, there's going to be some of you guys watching this video going, I'm so severe, I could never do it. Are you so severe that you live in a sanatorium? Are you so severe that you get Baker acted, you know, once a month? Are you so severe that you get Marchman acted at least once a month? Are you? And I know that means 1% of the people watching this video are going to hate me, but the bottom line is it's better if you just accept the reality of it and then move forward. The toughest job of an attorney is to basically tell people the truth, which is not what they want to hear. What they usually want to hear is that they're right. I'm right. I'm right. Right. I'm right. And that's not reality. So just kind of keep that in mind. We're just here as guiding factors to try and help you get through the system. The biggest problem and the biggest issue we have with getting people through the system is the person itself. You know, the person themselves is just somebody who fights what we try to promote and push through. So just keep in mind, it's one of those situations where we want you to succeed, but the greatest enemy of our duty to get you through is you. It's not the SSA. A lot of people, oh, it's just the SSA, it's the SSA. No, it's you. It's always been you. It's always been the client. It's never been the SSA, which is a hard thing to hear from most people, but that's the way it works. So anyways, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'll catch you a little bit later. We'll go from there. Remember, if you want the most up-to-date information or you want uh, uh, you know, free consultation, uh, that's fine. Give me a call, 8 to 10 Eastern Standard. I go live on YouTube every Thursday, 8 to 10, and I'll go ahead and work with you on all these things. All right, I'll catch you a little bit later. We'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.